If there's an online job or a freelance job, I would highly recommend this transcription. If you know me or follow this channel or you watched any of my videos before, then you know how passionate I am about this because transcription saved my life. Why it's not for transcription? I would not have gotten to where I am right now. It had a huge part to play and that is why I highly recommend it and it is simply converting audios or videos to text. I know there are so many difficult aspects of transcription like from the listening and accuracy but in simple terms that is what transcription is and i have put together this mega list of transcription companies actually 19 transcription companies or transcription jobs or typing jobs you can apply for so if you've been looking for transcription or typing jobs and you don't know where to get them you don't know which company is hiring you don't know what are the requirements you don't know the amount of money you would make this is the video for you because i have covered all that so i have talked about 19 companies 19 transcription jobs and the requirements how to get in how much money you can make how you'll get paid and of course the countries where the companies are hiring from so there are companies that hire from every part of the world there are companies that hire complete beginners in fact most companies on this list hire from every part of the world and they hire complete beginners but there are also company or transcription jobs in this list that require people from specific parts or specific locations and they also require some level of experience but i can assure you the ratio of those companies that need people who have some sort of experience and people from specific locations compared to the companies that hire beginners worldwide the ratio is like one to five so i can assure you this video is very beginner friendly and i have put together my favorite transcription jobs companies i would recommend for beginners and experienced transcribers and as we get started i have one simple request hit the like button for this video you know how much that means to me and i would really appreciate it if you just took a second to like the video i can assure you it's completely free it won't take much of your time but it means the world to me and to this video so please do that and let's get started way with words way with words hires transcriptionists from south africa the united kingdom countries in the european union the united states canada australia new zealand malaysia singapore and hong kong you can apply even if you've never done transcription before if your application is successful you will be guided through training by their recruitment team they pay transcriptionists between 0.45 dollars and 1.73 dollars per audio minute so you can expect to earn between 27 dollars and 103.8 dollars per audio hour kindly note that the exact amount of money you receive depends on the type of work you transcribe and its urgency if you work on 30 audio hours in a month your earnings for that month will be between 810 dollars and 3000 $114. To start working at Way With Words, you'll be required to pass the assessment, after which you can work as much or as little as you want, whenever it's convenient for you. You'll be paid monthly directly into your PayPal account, irrespective of who your account is with. Rev. Rev also hires beginner transcriptionists. It's one very popular transcription company and every transcriber's dream. Most of the people who work for Rev, the ones I know, always boast of Rev's good pay rates. However, you will need to pass their short transcription test to start working and making money. You can work as a transcriptionist, a captioner, or a subtitler. Transcriptionists at Rev earn between $0.30 and $1.10 per audio minute. The pay for an audio hour is between $18 and $66. Captioners at Rev earn between $0.54 and $1.10 per audio minute. So they earn between $32.4 and $66 for an audio hour. Subtitlers on the other hand earn between $1.5 and $3 per audio minute, making between $90 and $180 per audio hour. Now, if you work on 30 audio hours in a month, you will earn between $540 and $1,980 as a transcriptionist. If you work as a captioner, your earnings will be between $972 and $1,980. And if you are a subtitler, you'll earn between $2,700 and $5,400 for that month. Rev makes payment once per week via PayPal. I wish I knew a foreign language so I can work as a subtitler at Rev because 
If you know, you know. Better start signing up at Rev, especially if you are in one of the eligible countries. Rev only hires from specific locations, and the eligible countries are Australia, Canada, Ireland, Mexico, Netherlands, New Zealand, South Africa, United Kingdom, and the United States, excluding California. They updated this list like three months ago. That's why it was important for me to list them for you here. But you can always go to their website to confirm. Before you ask why it excludes California, it's probably because of the independent contractor law, which requires freelancers to be hired as employees or something like that. I'm not from the US, so I don't know the specifics, but I'm sure my peeps from California know what I'm talking about. Quick date and I dictate. Quick date and I dictate recruits transcriptionists worldwide, but you must provide a tax ID number. Quick date transcribes voicemail messages, memos, letters, legal files, medical files, recordings of phone calls, conference calls, and other audio files. QuickTate also audits, summarizes, evaluates, and analyzes audio recordings and phone conversations. iDictate transcribes all types of files except for voicemail messages, and that's why it's QuickTate and iDictate, but both are owned by the same company. The rate of pay for QuickTate general transcription is $0.0025 per word. This is equal to one cent for every four words. The rate of pay for QuickTet medical transcription is $0.005 per word, and this is equal to one cent for every two words. Now, the rate of pay for iDictate transcription is $0.005 per word, which is equal to one cent for every two words, which is the same as the rate of pay for QuickTet medical transcription. However, you will be paid a higher amount for multi speaker files, spreadsheet files, and super rush files that are finished on time. So if your transcript has 3,000 words, you'll earn between $7.5 and $15 on QuickTet and iDictate. The last audio file I did was around 17 minutes long and the transcript had around 2,100 words. If it was on QuickTet and iDictate, my earnings would have been between $5.25 and $10.5, which is around what I got paid for that file actually. I hope this gives you a bit of context and what to expect when working with QuickTet and iDictate in terms of payment. To join QuickTet and iDictate as a transcriber, you'll have to first create an account and provide references. Please don't use your family members as references. You'll also be required to take a quiz. After passing the quiz and the typing test, you'll run a background check on you, which will cost you $20. So the background check is on you. You don't need prior transcription experience. The test is what qualifies or disqualifies you from getting transcription jobs. Once you start earning on the platform, platform you'll be paid every monday through paypal now is this video being helpful so far please let me know by giving it a thumbs up simply hit the like button down below and i will really appreciate it scribby i was live on youtube the other day when someone asked do people still work on scribby the answer is yes People still work on Scribby, especially those without transcription experience. It's a good company to work for as a beginner because you get to learn on the job and make money in the process. Scribby hires from almost every part of the world. I was looking at the top 25 countries by certifications on their website, and as you can see, the US is at the top there, and then there's Philippines, India, Kenya. South Africa, Malaysia, Bulgaria, and the rest. So they do have transcribers from several countries. You can even see that from this country list. And no, I have not been paid by anyone to make this video. Scribby pays transcribers $5 to $25 per audio hour. So if you transcribe a file that's an hour long, you'll earn around $5 to $20. That means you get paid around $0.5 to $2.5 for a six-minute file. The amount of money you can earn in a month depends on how many jobs you do. If you commit to transcribing 10 files per week, you'll be making around $50 to $250 per week. You would have worked on 40 files that month and your earnings will be around $200 $1,000. I usually tell transcribers to set financial goals for themselves and work on meeting them. You know your financial needs, so set goals and say I will be doing 20 files per week or 15 files per week depending on the amount of money you want to make. You are in control of your earnings. Some people say that Scribby's pay rate is very low, which is quite understandable. The company says on their website that their pay rate is comparable and unfortunately we can't fight them on that. The only solution is not to work with them if you are uncomfortable with their pay.
pay rates. But they do pay a monthly bonus of $5 for every three hours completed each month. To get three hours in a month, you'll have to work on one six-minute file each day. The bonus is paid on the first day of each month, and it includes all approved files submitted in the previous month. Once your work is approved, the earnings are credited to your Scribi account. You can then withdraw your money anytime by submitting a withdrawal request. The advantage of working on Scribi is that there is no withdrawal limit. You can withdraw whatever amount you have in your Scribi account. Now, payments are made via PayPal. I know this is a bummer for people who do not have access to PayPal, but Scribi has no other payment option. They say that to apply for Scribi transcription jobs, you have to be in a country where PayPal works. Once you submit a withdrawal request, the money is sent to your PayPal account in one business day, so there is no waiting around. One of the requirements to apply for Scribi transcription jobs is a verified PayPal account. To verify your PayPal account, you have to add a bank account or credit card. My PayPal account is linked to my card. The first thing you do when you start your application in Scribi is to provide your PayPal email address and you will not be allowed to proceed with the application if your PayPal account is not verified. Now, are you getting value so far? Please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Simply hit the like button down below and I will really appreciate it. If it says not verified, it's probably because you did not complete the verification process. When I was verifying my PayPal account, I was sent a code which I input in PayPal and completed the verification process. I remember I couldn't find the code in my bank statement, so I called my bank. I explained to them what I was trying to do and they found the code for me. If you encounter any challenge when trying to verify your PayPal account, call or visit your bank. I don't think anyone else can help you with this. Yes, Scribi is open to both beginner and expert transcribers, but you need to pass a transcription test in order to be accepted onto the platform. People don't like transcription tests, including me. I hate transcription tests. But you have to show that you can do the job, so you really can't escape transcription tests. It's like trying to avoid interviews and still want to get the job. It doesn't work like that. Of course, there are jobs you can get without an interview, but you get my point. Even some clients on Upwork require you to pass transcription tests before you are awarded contracts. Needless to say, this is what discourages most people when it comes to making money online as transcribers. Unfortunately, you need to pass a transcription test to work on Scribi. The good news is, a lot of beginner transcribers have passed the test already, so it's not that difficult. Unlike Transcribio, TranscribeMe, and other transcription companies, Scribi's transcription test is timed. You have to submit the test transcript within two hours of selecting the test file. And if you're serious about making money online doing transcription jobs and other online jobs, then do hit the subscribe button now because I share such opportunities with my subscribers every week or so and you really don't want to miss out. I recently did a video of a transcription company that was hiring and only the first viewers Okay, the first first viewers benefited because the company stopped hiring as soon as they got enough people. So you get the gist. Your transcript will be graded and if your grade is good, you'll be certified as a transcriber and you'll be paid for the test file. Otherwise, you'll be rejected. If you are rejected, you can submit another test file. You will have a maximum of 10 attempts. If you fail in all attempts, you can still reapply, but only after six months. Please don't take on the transcription test if you have no idea what you're doing. You'll most probably fail the test. You can practice transcribing before taking the test. Scribi has a practice section with different audios which you can transcribe, submit, and see the mistakes you are making. This way you can correct those mistakes and ensure you don't repeat them when taking the actual transcription test. A lot of people just start doing the test immediately without preparing, without practicing, and that becomes a problem, and then they end up failing. Please don't be those people. You can work on as many files as you want. There is no restriction, and the files are usually very short, about six minutes or less. You don't pay anything to join Scribi. It's free. Kindly note that this is not an ad. I'm only trying to help you start making money online. 
That's why I share these opportunities on my channel. I do not work for Scribi and do not know how the company operates internally. Only sign up if you are comfortable with the information shared in this video and be sure to do your own research as well. The company has its own hiring guidelines and timelines and they can stop hiring at their pleasure. Remember that getting online jobs is not as easy as most people make it sound, so expect to put in a lot of work and time into it. And failing transcription tests happens to the best of us. If it happens to you, don't give up. Pull yourself together and try again. Failure is a stepping stone to success. I have failed a couple of transcription tests in the past as well. GoTranscript. GoTranscript is a transcription company that hires beginner transcriptionists from all around the world. You don't need transcription experience to work at GoTranscript. You can earn up to $0.60 per audio minute. For every audio hour, your earnings can be $36. So you can make around $200 152 dollars per week if you work on an audio hour every day for seven days. According to their platform, top earners make around $1,215 per month, which means working on around 33 audio hours per month. This is quite achievable if you ask me. In fact, you can do more than 33 audio hours per month. It all depends on how fast a transcriber you are and your availability. When you start making money on the platform, you'll be paid weekly via PayPal. Yes, you will be required to pass a transcription test to get started with GoTranscript. Now, as much as GoTranscript is a very good transcription company for beginners, I can't assure you that you will get in when you apply because nowadays they don't take as many people as they used to. And this is just my observation. The platform is probably oversaturated or they are being very choosy with who they want to work with. Either way, feel free to give it a try and let me know how it goes in the comment section. 3Play Media. 3Play Media is a solid transcription company and a great choice for beginner transcriptionists. Previous transcription experience is not listed as part of the requirements, but you need to have an excellent understanding of the English language, good computer skills, and a typing speed of 75 words per minute or more. If your application is successful, you'll be transcribing audio and editing transcripts on the platform and getting paid for it. According to the information on their website, payment for transcriptionists and editors range from $10 to $30 per hour, not per audio hour. They don't specify their rates per audio minute or audio hour, so it's difficult to accurately estimate how much you'll be making for every audio hour you work on. After going through a couple of reviews online, I learned that freelancers earn around $15 per hour on average, which is pretty decent if you ask me. And during your application, you'll provide basic details about you and your taping skills. You'll also be required to complete a series of short tests to assess your skills and suitability for the role. It takes between two and three weeks for you to hear back with the outcome of your application. Most companies do take a while to get back to you, probably because of the volume of applications they receive. Unfortunately, AAA Media only hires freelancers from the US. You should also be 18 years or older and have a US bank account and mailing address. Payments are made every week via bank deposit, but it is also possible for you to receive your earnings via check. Bubble Type, an online company that offers audio to text services in market research. They have both transcription and translation jobs. To work for Bubble Type as a transcriptionist, you need to have a solid understanding of English grammar and typography rules, possess excellent communication skills, and commit to meeting deadlines. You also need access to a computer with a high-speed internet connection and a comfortable headset. Bubble Type pays transcriptionists per audio minute, not per working hour. The pay rate is between $0.40 and $0.80 per audio minute. According to the reviews of people who've transcribed for Bubble Type, the average pay rate is $0.45 per audio minute, so you earn $27 for one audio hour. How much you earn per working hour will depend on your speed and accuracy. It takes an experienced transcriptionist around three to four minutes to transcribe one audio minute. Completing one audio hour will take around four hours, which is equivalent to $27 on average. So you'll be earning between $6 and $12 per working hour. This is assuming you get paid between $0.40 and $0.80 per audio minute as I had mentioned before. Beginner transcriptionists without any experience may take up to 8 or 9 minutes to complete an audio minute. 
while it takes an experienced transcriptionist four hours to make an average of $27, a beginner transcriptionist earns the same in eight hours, which dramatically reduces their per hour rate. At the average rate of $0.45 per audio minute, a beginner will only be earning approximately $3 per hour. According to the information on their website, Bubble Type is always looking for talented and capable independent contractors to join their team. You can start the recruitment process on the Bubble Type website. There's actually a video on its apply page that explains the requirements in full and the benefits offered. Now, if you are interested in applying for this transcriptionist position, you will need to fill out the application form available on the website and transcribe a 10-minute audio. The audio test is part of the application form actually, which you will then submit via email once you filled it out. And you can use the same form to apply for a translation job as well. Now, if you can translate French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, Portuguese, or Spanish to English, you can apply for the translation jobs. You'll wait for about one week to hear back from them once you make your application. Unfortunately, you cannot reapply if your application is rejected. So do your best the first time. And if you are not in North America, you'll be required to indicate the country you'll be working from and your time zone. Here's the thing. Bubble Tape has an average rating of 2.5 out of 5 on Glassdoor and 2.6 out of 5 on Indonesia. Indeed, the majority of the negative reviews are related to low pay, so please do your research, read reviews, and only apply if you are comfortable with all the information you get. Crowdsurf, which is very popular, I know you already know about it, but let me just talk about it briefly. Crowdsurf provides on-demand transcription and captioning services that make online media more accessible and enjoyable for deaf and hard of hearing, as well as second language users. They do this by working with transcribers with little or no previous transcription experience experience to provide 99% accurate transcripts and video captions. According to their website, they provide all the training and support you need to get started earning money from home. Now, CrowdSurf accepts applications from Canada and USA as well as international applicants. And if you are interested in CrowdSurf transcription jobs, the first step is to sign up on Work Market. Now, this is a company that provides an online platform and marketplace for businesses to hire, manage, and pay freelancers, contractors, and consultants. This means your payments will come from CrowdSurf but they will be deposited into a work market account. After successfully registering on work market, you need to join Crowdsurf. Now, to start working with Crowdsurf, you need to go through their guidelines carefully and take their transcription test. The Crowdsurf test is not very difficult to crack. Just make sure you've read and understood their guidelines. Once you've done the test, they'll send you work market login details to your email within three to five business days. The total amount of money you can earn in a certain period depends on your transcription skills and the number of jobs you do. You'll be working on short video files of about five seconds to 30 seconds each. Now, CrowdSurf pays between $0.03 to $0.20 per audio minute, and they call their tasks HIT or Human Intelligence Tasks. You are paid additional bonus rates when you complete a certain amount of human intelligence tasks per week, and you'll earn between $1.8 and $12 for one video hour, which is not much considering one video hour can take a beginner without experience approximately six hours to complete. So when you get started with CrowdSurf, your job will be to make sure you deliver high quality work, get high ratings, and qualify for better periods. You get paid via direct deposit or PayPal depending on your location and there are no minimum withdrawal limits. Please note that you can either be called a transcriptionist or a transcriber, so please do not mind when I use them interchangeably. Sometimes I say transcriptionist, sometimes I say a transcriber. Appen. Appen is a fintech company that provides or improves data for machine learning and artificial intelligence products. Appen also offers different part-time flexible jobs to independent contractors all around the world. These work from home jobs are available in three categories. So these projects, which are longer term or part-time opportunities, these micro tasks, which is work you can start right away and surveys in data collection. Some of the micro tasks include moderating content and transcribing audio, which is what we'll be addressing in this video. When it comes to paying transcribers, Appen does not have a fixed pay rate. The rate is usually based on audio clarity, project completion, complexity, required formatting style, and the audio length. According to research, you get paid $0.005 per transcribed word in most cases, or $5 for every 1,000 words. And these rates can be higher or lower depending on the factors I have mentioned. To give you some context, 
you will earn $25 for 5,000 transcribed words. This is assuming the period is $0.005 per word. Just a reminder, there is no fixed rate. Each transcription task is different, hence different periods. The period I indicated above is just an average and I got the figure through research. It is therefore important that you sign up on Appen with an open mind because the period can be any figure depending on the task. Now to get started, simply create an Appen account using the link in the description and provide the required details depending on what you'll be applying for. They'll review your application and if you are successful, you'll get access to tasks. Each task has its own requirements and you might have to pass a qualification exam for some tasks. So getting an Appen account does not mean you qualify for all tasks. Note that they might take a while to review your application. My application was reviewed within a few days while I've had others had to wait for even six months to hear back from Appen, so I don't know how long you'll have to wait exactly. In terms of how you get paid, at the end of each month, you send Appen an invoice showing all the hours you have worked in that month. Your payment will then be released through your preferred payment method within 30 days of Appen receiving and approving your invoice. In most cases, you can choose to be paid directly into your bank account via PayPal or through Payoneer. I have seen many reviews of people complaining about up and slow periods and non-payment as well as the unavailability of jobs. I have also seen some very positive reviews like timely payments, it is easy. It is therefore advisable to do your own research, read different online reviews and make an informed decision. Don't just sign up on Appen because I have talked about it. Anyway, getting value from this video so far, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up hit the like button for me and i will really appreciate it gmr transcription and like most transcription companies gmr transcription has an average rating of 4.2 out of 5 on glassdoor and 4.3 out of 5 on indeed they have a significant number of positive reviews from transcribers aka transcriptionists some talk of the constant flow of transcription jobs while others are happy about good periods and good audio quality according to GMR transcription, they are always looking for general transcriptionists. And to get started, all you need is a computer with high speed internet, Microsoft Office, a foot pedal, and over the ear headphones. No previous transcription experience is required, so entry level applicants are welcome. They also have Spanish transcription and translation jobs, so you can apply for that as well if you wish. Unfortunately, GMR transcription only hires US based transcriptionists, which means you have to be a US resident in order to qualify for the transcriptionist position. GMR transcription states on their website that transcriptionists and translators typically earn between $1,000 and $3,000 per month, depending on their skill level and the kind of work they take. They say that transcriptionists or transcribers who are willing to work on more difficult files or files with a fast turnaround time or a quick turnaround time will earn more money. Now, GMR pays per audio minute, though they do not see the exact periods on their website. So I guess you'll find out the exact amount of money you can earn once you start working on the transcription jobs or once you get accepted onto the platform. Platform. Now, to get started, you need to fill out an application form on their website. They will then send you a transcription test. And once you submit this test, you will need to wait for approximately two weeks to hear from them. If you are successful, GMR Transcription will contact you with details on how to get started. Unfortunately, if you don't hear from them, it most likely means you didn't pass their test. But if you pass, you'll be put on probation and will be required to transcribe two hours of audio and you won't be paid for this. It's like a continuation of the transcription test, to be honest. And I know most people have a problem with this because two hours of audio is approximately 16 hours of work for a completely new transcriber. Anyway, if that is something you are willing to do, once you get started on paid work, you will be required to work on at least four hours of audio each week. And GMR transcription makes payments via direct deposit. If any of this sounds too good to be true or does not match your expectations in terms of finances, there amount of work or anything like that kindly feel free to pass and if you choose to give any of these opportunities a try please make sure you are on the correct company website these companies won't charge you a penny to register and they do not ask for sensitive information like your credit card details and all that so if you find yourself on a website that asks you to pay or to provide sensitive financial information please don't fall for that daily transcription 
Now, daily transcription accepts both beginner and experienced transcriptionists to join their team. You only need a computer with an internet connection, a transcription software such as Expressquib, a pair of good headphones, and be over 18 years old to work at daily transcription. Unfortunately, you can only apply for a transcriptionist position if you live in the US, UK, Australia, or Canada. If you are an international applicant, they can only consider you for captioning or subtitling and translation jobs. Daily transcription pays transcriptionists between $0.75 and $0.85 per audio minute. Therefore, you will earn between $45 and $51 for one audio hour. According to daily transcription, top transcriptionists on the platform make anywhere from $250 to $950 per week. Payments are made weekly by check only, unless you are outside the US and Canada, in which case other payment arrangements can be made. To apply for a transcriptionist position at Daily Transcription, you need to fill out an application form on their website. You will be required to attach an official document showing where you reside and also attach a resume. According to the reviews I have read, they will give you a simple multiple choice test and after that, they will send you an audio to transcribe. Now, you should transcribe that audio to the best of your ability in order to be onboarded. And I'm so glad that you're still here. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up by simply hitting the like button down below. I will really appreciate it. Happy Scribe. Happy Scribe works with freelancers from all over the world. They accept all kinds of people from all walks of life. As a transcriptionist at Happy Scribe, you'll be working on both transcription and subtitling files. Now, to get started, simply apply on their website by creating an account and doing the transcription come subtitling test. The video test is about 10 minutes long. If your application is successful, they'll get in touch with you as soon as possible. And if you fail, they'll send you an email informing you of the same within a few days. They do not state clear response times on their website and your application might be successful but you'll be put on a waiting list for a few days or even months as you wait for a vacancy. Now if you fail the test, you can give it another try in three months using the same email. You don't need to create another account for that. If you pass the test, you'll be onboarded and required to provide your bank details, sign a confidentiality agreement and create a Discord account. Once you've been onboarded, you'll have four weeks to claim your first file before your account is suspended. Happy Scribe pays English transcriptionists 0.90 euros per audio minute. This is equivalent to 0.99 US dollars. You therefore earn around $59.4 per audio hour. According to Happy Scribe, the best transcriptionists can earn more than $2,199 per month. Transcriptionists get paid on the 1st and 15th of each month through WISE, formerly known as TransferWISE. Please note that they do not have any other payment method, so you cannot work on Happy Scribe if WISE is not available in your country. Here is a list of countries where WISE is available. You can actually find this information on the WISE website as well. Casting words. Here is how you can make $270 per week or more. Speaking of money, who do you think makes more money? People in employment or freelancers? I'm curious to know what you think, so let's chat in the comment section about that. And could you please hit the like button for this video? It would mean the world to me. Casting Words is a very popular transcription company. I'm sure you've heard of it. It was founded in 2005 and has been in business for over 15 years. They offer transcription as well as captioning and subtitling services. It's always good to question the legitimacy of every transcription company before you make your move. And I'm happy to report that Casting Words is legit. They have legit transcription jobs and they pay their transcribers. According to their website, some of their clients include Microsoft, BBC, and ABC. They've also been featured in media outlets like The Economist and The New York Times. Yes, they are hiring. They say on their website that they are always looking for talented freelance transcribers, editors, and even QAs. You make money on casting words by transcribing audio and video files, editing transcripts, and completing other short jobs, like determining the audio quality of files sent by clients. You get paid once your tasks have been reviewed and approved for payment. Now, to work on casting words, you must be at least 18 years old, so you can't work for them if you are not 18 years and above. 
Also, you must live in a country that accepts their payment method and be able to receive payment. We are all working to make money, so you must be able to receive payment. And it must be legal for you to work for Casting Words as an independent contractor according to the laws of your country. The beauty of working at Casting Words is that you don't need any sophisticated software or equipment. All you need is a computer or a laptop, internet access, Microsoft Word and have access to transcription software like Expresscribe or Listen and Write to make your transcription work easier. People have different opinions of casting words because the experience is different for everyone. Whether casting words is a good company to work for or not is something you have to figure out on your own because what I consider good for me might not be good for you. We all have different needs and you're the only one who will know if they meet your needs or not. And we are back to talking about money. The amount of money you make on casting words depends on what kind of jobs you work on, your level, and the grade you get. I mentioned before that there are different types of jobs on casting words. There are transcription jobs, grading jobs, and editing jobs. Jobs at different skill levels have different periods within each job type. Transcription and editing jobs are bonus based, which means your pay is as good as the quality of work you produce. Let's talk figures now, shall we? The company claims to pay between 8.5 cents, which is $0.085 and $1 per audio minute. Now, I did a bit of digging and found out that their actual pay ranges from $0.15 to $1 per audio minute. The exact amount of money you get paid depends on the agency and priority of the job as well as your grade. The work you do is reviewed and given a grade between 0 and 9. Rejected work is usually graded between 0 and 4, which means you won't get paid for it. If your work is given a five, you will just get the basic pay, like the lowest amount, which in this case is $0.15 per audio minute. If your work is graded six, you will be paid 1.5 times the base pay, which is $0.23 per audio minute. If it's graded seven, you'll get two times the base pay, which is $0.30 per audio minute. Now, if it's graded eight, you'll get 2.5 times the base pay, which is $0.38 per audio minute. And what if it's graded nine? You'll get three times the base pay, which is $0.45 per audio minute. So the higher you grade, the more the money. Now let's assume you are an incredible transcriber who works on 10 audio hours per week. That's two audio hours a day and your work is graded nine every time. This means you get paid $0.45 per audio minute, which translates to $27 per audio hour. If you work on 10 audio hours every week, your weekly income will be $270. In a month, you would have worked on a total of 40 audio hours and your income will be $1,080. Now, depending on your financial needs and the country you are in, this may or may not be enough, but it's a good start. Besides, you can choose to do more than 10 audio hours a week. Maybe do 20 audio hours per week. This is assuming you've really mastered transcription because even completing an audio hour in one day can be a challenge for someone who's completely green. Remember, they pay between $0.15 and $1 per audio minute, which means you can earn $1 per audio minute. So for one audio hour, you will earn $60. If you still manage to complete 10 audio hours per week, your earnings will be $600 per week and $2,400 per month. Now, completing 40 audio hours is no joke. But then again, the number of files you can complete in a month will depend on your capability, among other factors like your availability and your typing speed and stuff like that. Whether you need to take a transcription test or not depends on who you are, or where you are applying from, I guess. When I signed up, I was directed to take a transcription test, as you can see here, but some people start working right away, no test. During registration, you will provide basic information and a brief bio of who you are. That is the information they use to determine if you need to do the test or not. I feel like your location is what they usually look at, but I can't say for sure. If you are directed to take the test, 
you'll have to transcribe a short audio file. They will give you instructions to follow and even provide a sample transcript, which gives you an idea of how your test transcript should look like. Most transcription companies use transcription tests to verify your transcription skills, including your ability to follow guidelines. To be honest, most people don't know how to transcribe, so giving them jobs right away is, in most cases, a terrible idea. Now, if you are not directed to the transcription test, you will be directed to the jobs dashboard, which means you don't need to take a test and can start working right away. In that case, you need to go through casting words guidelines and start claiming jobs once you understand how the platform works. Remember that every transcription company has its own guidelines, aka instructions, that transcribers should follow when working on their transcription jobs. Casting words is not different and understanding their guidelines should be your first priority. Now, are you getting value so far? Please let me know by hitting the like button down below. And subscribe if you've been looking for transcription jobs and other online job opportunities. I post such opportunities on my channel from time to time and you don't want to miss out. If you are directed to take the test, you will have about 90 minutes to complete it. If something comes up and you are not able to complete the test within the allocated time, you can return the test and try again after 24 hours. If the test expires, you will still have to wait for 24 hours before you can try again. Though there is no penalty if the transcription test expires, you will be penalized when a paid job expires. Once you pass the test and start working on paid transcription jobs, you have to either finish the job on time or make sure to return the job if you are not able to meet the deadline. Once your test transcript has been reviewed, your results will be emailed to you. The reviewing process can take anywhere from a few seconds up to a week or so. So you need to exercise patience if you don't get your results instantly. Now, if your test is rejected, you may or may not be able to retake it, depending on the type of issues that caused the rejection. If you are allowed to retake the test, you will have to wait for a week. The rejection email will include a date after which you can sign in and try again. If your account is approved, you will get access to jobs right away and can start working on them when you are ready. Just remember to take a few minutes to look around the Casting Words workshop interface and familiarize yourself with the platform. You can choose to use Casting Words player on their jobs page or you can download the audio file. You can then work on the audio file offline using your preferred player or transcription software such as Expressquibe, Windows Media Player, and VLC. Casting Words is one of the few companies that allow transcribers to download the audio, work on it offline, and then upload the transcript. Most transcription companies discourage workers from downloading files. They prefer if they work on the platform. You can work on as many jobs as humanly possible. As a freelance transcriber, you set your own schedule, hours, and frequency of your work. You can work all the time or choose to only work when you get the time. Yes, Casting Words allows you to subcontract to others. They've clearly stated that you are responsible for the work submitted on your account, but they do not put restrictions on how you get your work done. As such, someone else can work on the files and can submit the work on your account. This is excellent news because sometimes you don't have the time to work on files, so you can give someone else access to your account and they can be working and submitting files on your behalf. What you need to figure out is how to compensate the other person and ensure that they produce quality work. Such an arrangement can be very costly, by the way, if you get someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Trust me, been there, done that. And as much as you are allowed to subcontract, they won't recognize the subcontractor. As far as they are concerned, all the work submitted on the account is your work, whether you are the one who worked on it or not. So be careful if you choose to take this path. You can share your account with someone else, but you can't have more than one account. Each individual is limited to only one Casting Words account. Casting Words pays freelancers through PayPal. You have to be in a country where PayPal works in order to work at Casting Words. And PayPal is available in more than 200 countries, according to the information on their website. Now, there are countries where you can only send and receive payment with a PayPal business account, not a personal account. So before you conclude that PayPal doesn't work in your country, 
make sure you have explored the business account option first. Casting Words issues payments every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Please confirm what time this is in your region. All you have to do is request a transfer of funds and your earnings for that period will be deposited into your PayPal account. They pay the PayPal fees, so you get the full balance of your account when they transfer your funds. You can let your earnings accumulate for like a month or you can request payment every week. As long as you have at least $1 in your Casting Words account and have been a member for at least a week, you can request payment. The PayPal account you use on Casting Words must be yours. You can't use an account that belongs to someone else. And why don't you have a PayPal account anyway? A PayPal account was the first thing I created when I started working online, even before getting my first online job. It's always safe to have the account ready unless PayPal is not available in your country, in which case you can create a Skrill account, a Peony account, or whichever account you have access to. Most of the jobs on Casting Words are in English, but sometimes they have assignments available in French and Spanish. This is what they say on their platform. If you speak a language other than English and would like to be able to work on jobs in your language, click on the request language badge link under the badge icons on your dashboard and select the appropriate language if it is listed. And this is me lifting the wording exactly from the platform. So if you are interested in anything other than English online jobs, Try that and see if you'll get what you want. Focus Forward is a company based in the United States. This company is also hiring typists or transcribers to join their transcription team. They've clearly indicated on their website that you can work for them from any country in the world. You get to choose when to work and how much work to do. Their pay rates start at $0.40 per audio minute and there are opportunities to earn even more. All you have to do is take their transcription test and they'll get back to you within 48 hours. Next is Vanan Services, a company that hires freelancers to do transcription, typing, captioning, subtitling, and voiceover jobs. They accept applicants from any part of the world and promise good pay rates and a good work environment. Vanan hasn't shared a lot of information about their work from home jobs like transcription, so I guess you find out after making the application, which involves filling out an application form on their website. Pioneer Transcription Services is a US-based transcription company currently looking for general and legal transcriptionists as well as Spanish to English transcriptionists who can transcribe video files and insert timestamps. You have to fill out the application form and then they will send you a transcription test to complete before getting hired. They haven't indicated their periods on the website, which means you'll only know once you get hired. Multilingual Connections is also a US-based agency that offers services like transcription, subtitling, translation, etc. Multilingual Connections has different freelance opportunities and they are currently looking for Spanish from or into English law enforcement transcriptionists. This means they are looking for people who can transcribe from Spanish into English or vice versa. You choose when to work, what to work on, and how much work to do. They haven't given many details about this opportunity on their website, so it's better to apply and see. Transcribe Me is another transcription company that's also hiring typists in 2023. They hire transcribers from around the world, which means from any country. You only need to be at least 18 years old and have a computer or laptop with an internet connection. They pay beginner general transcribers $15 per audio hour, but they also have different teams that receive different periods. A beginner general transcriptionist earns $0.50 for a two-minute file and $1 for a four-minute file. Transcribe Me pays their transcribers once a week every Thursday via PayPal. Take One, a Vabit company headquartered in the United Kingdom. Take One is always looking for freelancers to join their team and work on their transcription translation and captioning jobs. They have opportunities for beginner and experienced typists as well as students. However, you need to type at least 80 words per minute and be available 20 hours per week. There's no information on pay rates, so I'll advise you to just apply by filling out their application form and get all that information during the hiring process. Remember to smash the like button for me and hit the subscribe button for more content.